I'm here with one of my friends. Uh, his name is Brendan. It is. Today we're going to be discussing some philosophy topics for Philosophy 100. You have depression and you want to fix your depression and this pill will give you diarrhea along with depression. I know, <laughs> it'll fix your depression. <laughs> it's, and the question is, are you intentionally giving yourself diarrhea? If so, why? The way I see it, if you decide voluntarily to take the pill to get rid of your depression and mm -hmm. with a side effect of diarrhea, you're intentionally giving yourself diarrhea because you may not want the diarrhea if you're someone else, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but you'd much rather prefer to have your depression gone. I still think that you can acknowledge that something's going to happen, there's going to be some consequences, positive or negative. You're intending to cure your depression, and if you don't want diarrhea, and you do want to fix your depression, fixing depression is a positive, diarrhea is a negative. If you know that you're gonna get diarrhea, the fact that you don't want it makes it unintentional, and I, that's why I see that as a side effect. That I you can don't see that want. way. Yeah. Like the intention of the pill, is, is to, to get diarrhea. It's, to, it's right, to the, fix your the depression. The intent of it is in general just to uh, to cure depression. Cure depression. Right. 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 I don't know. It depends. It depends. Can I, I help? I didn't hear really quick. Go ahead, Professor. You're killing it. Keep it up. So that's that section of the lecture, and now on to Triscuits versus Wheat Thins. What is better? Now, personally, I do like Triscuits a lot. Mm. I know you do too, right? Yeah, yeah, I really, okay. really enjoy Triscuits. I'll take the side of Wheat Thins, which I also find to be quite delectable. Okay, what do you like about Wheat Thins? Explain. Their taste. All right. Yeah, they have a bit of salt on there. The texture of it is, is pretty good too. Like, like when I take a bite of Wheat Thins, I bite in there, I bite around in a certain area, mm -hmm. I get what I bit for. With Triscuits though, it gets everywhere. <laughs> I mean, I, I, this is a huge mess. Little flakes fall on the ground. I can't stand Triscuits. Uh, wheat Thins maybe are cleaner to eat. You don't get crumbs all over your shirt. I mean, if you're growing a beard out, you you wouldn't want Triscuit crumbs. Oh, that would take forever to like get that out of your beard. However, I think that there are methods to consume Triscuits. Yeah, with a vacuum. As you're eating, you get like a funnel of some sort, right? And you can just... It's a lot of work for a Triscuit. Yeah, but is it worth it to just no mess Triscuits? Imagine, dip them in ranch and that will glue it together when you eat it. I just glue at that point. You could use super glue as well. But then, you know what? Triscuits might give you diarrhea, so. Triscuits cure depression, win, confirmed. That's another debate. Would you eat a Triscuit if you knew it would give you diarrhea? And therefore can't eat wheat because he's vegan. Eat these wheat thins, right? You will break out in hives, right? Are you, in, if you really like the taste of wheat thins, are you intentionally giving yourself hives? Back on topic to the intent, which is the- uh, Hypothetically. Intent yep. of the, the discussion. <laughs> I see what you did there. I did it. So if you decide to eat the wheat thin, Triscuit, Whitskit, I don't know what you eat. Yep, yep. If you decide to do that and you know that you're gonna be having diarrhea as a result. Yep. Like, like your original intent going yeah. into this yeah. was to consume your favorite cracker. So let's start a little story here, okay? You're hungry, Sorry, right? Oh you're boy. starving. Uh -huh. So you walk into the kitchen, yep. rear, open the <laughs> open the cabinet door, like you go, rummage around, oh, wheat thins. I want Triscuits because they make a mess. Then you're like, oh, let's see how many calories does this thing have. Mm -hmm. Look at the back of the box. May cause diarrhea. Will the cause. I misread it. It says will. So you're like, oh, shoot, I don't want to like, get diarrhea, <laughs> but I'm so hungry. I want this wheat thin. It's so bad. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing left besides dirty garbage Triscuits. You know what? My intent to go into this was to consume a wheat thin. Right. But I, just had, I left diarrhea. You just gotta deal with it. I gotta deal with the diarrhea in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Last thing is maybe we should do a little experiment. Hang on, I'm gonna go grab a Triscuit. Diarrhea experiment? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna grab a Triscuit, I will be right back. Never mind, I thought we had oh, some. Back, back, okay. Apparently no Triscuits. I have some food. It won't be good Triscuit or wheat then, but we'll imagine. What I do have, however, is a very stale chips of whole cookie. <laughs> nice. Let's imagine this is a wheat thin. It's prescribed, don't worry, don't worry. Eat the cookie, get diarrhea, fix depression. You're getting happier already. You're consuming the cookie. It's just stale. <laughs> and I might get diarrhea from it. No, no, you will. No, I mean real, I mean real life. <laughs> You're intentionally eating a cookie because it tastes good, right? Cookie may or may not give you actual diarrhea, right? You don't want diarrhea. Most people don't want diarrhea. You intentionally ate a cookie giving you diarrhea, but you did not intend 
to get it originally. You didn't desire having diarrhea from eating this cookie or pill or whatever. So how will we define intent? Wanting or desire. A person's like original goal or objective. Bye.